Welcome to the installation video for the Double Duragate HD. Let's get started. Step 1. The first step is to determine the length of the gate horizontals. For equal size gates, simply measure the gate opening and subtract 17 and half inches and divide by 2. The 17 and half inches is based upon the required 8 inches for the hinges, required 8 inches for the gate end assemblies, and 1 and a half inch gap for the latch. So, if your gate opening is 169 and a half inches, you would cut your horizontals 76 inches long. The math looks like this. 169 and a half inches minus 17 and a half inches is 152 inches divided by 2 equals 76 inches. If you would like unequal gate sizes, simply adjust the math accordingly. Squarely cut the six horizontals to the determined length. Step 2. Hold one of the gate hinge side verticals in its desired height within the opening with the hinge holes facing down next to the hinge post and mark the location of the top hinge's bottom onto the post. Step 3. Locate one of the galvanized hinge plates and place it against the post and reference the top of its mounting nut with the line you marked on the post. Trace lines on all four sides of the plate identifying its location. Step 4. With the hinge plate still in its location, mark a circle in the middle of the mounting nut to reference the hole that needs to be drilled in the post to receive the hinge bolt. Step 5. For a wood post, drill a 1 inch hole approximately 3 inches deep at the circled location to receive the hinge bolt. For a hollow steel post, simply drill a 1 inch hole with a bimetal hole saw cut out with a torch or similar method. Step 6. Hold the top plate in its marked location and attach it to the post with the included fasteners. Wood lags are provided for wood posts and self-tapping tech screws are provided for steel posts. Step 7. Screw the hinge mounting bolt into the mounting nut a couple of turns and place one of the big nylon hinge bushings on the hinge bolt peg. Step 8. Locate the hinge gate vertical and hang it in place on the nylon bushing. As it is resting in place, slip the other hinge assembly together and place in the bottom hinge cup location all the way. This will mark the location of the bottom mounting plate. Making sure the gate vertical assembly is plumb, trace the outline of the plate on the post as above. Please understand that there are two directions in which to plumb a post, side to side and front to back. You need to plumb this front to back. Step 9. Remove the gate vertical and attach the bottom galvanized hinge plate as above, drilling the necessary one inch hole. Place both of the hinge bolts in the mounting nuts and turn clockwise until the outside of the nylon bushings are approximately three and three quarters of an inch away from the hinge post face. Plumb the nylon bushings to each other with the level side to side by turning the hinge bolts clockwise or counterclockwise as needed with the minimum gap to the outside of the bushing being three and three quarter inches. Step 10. Locate three of the gate horizontals you cut earlier and slip them onto the two gate uprights. Cross measure for square and attach with self-drilling screws four in each leg. Attach the diagonal gate brace to the back of the gate with self-drilling screws, making sure that the top of the diagonal brace is at the top of the hinge side and it goes toward the bottom of the latch side. Step 11. Simply place the frame back on the hinges. Make any necessary alignment adjustments by removing the frame and adjusting the necessary hinge alignment bolts and replacing. Repeat the process for the other gate frame on the opposite side, making sure it is located level to the other gate and place on the hinges. Make any necessary alignment adjustments by removing the frame and adjusting the necessary hinge alignment bolts and replacing. Step 12. Attach the wood pickets with supplied self-tapping Phillips head screws. The first board on the hinge side needs to be mortised out to accommodate the hinge side gussets. Step 13. Attach the striker bar and handle at the desired location on the gate latch side. We recommend putting it in the center. Now, almost close the gates together and align the latch corresponding to the striker and attach to the other gate. Step 14. Install the drop rod on one of the gates. If you choose, you can install a drop rod on both gates. Congratulations! Now you have a perfectly smooth operating, super strong fence gate. 
don't forget to visit our website at www.dura-gate.com. Duragate. Fence gates durable for life.